What does that make you? A divorced alcoholic with 500000 in debt, and I'm one of the lucky ones. I got to say, I am so thrilled to talk about this show. I've watched the first five episodes, and I am just hooked. It is gripping. It is funny as hell, and I just love everything about it. What about this show drew you to it? Was it the characters? Was it the writing? What about it? Well, you know, all of the above, really. When I, I, I had done this cameo for Taylor in 1883, and then he, he talked to me about this actually at the premiere of, of 1883. And uh, he told me the, the world it's in, uh, the, what the character was, and essentially told me that he was writing it in my voice. So that's always good when you, when someone writes specifically for you, you know? Uh, and uh, so I was thrilled about it because it's a world we don't get to really look into much. Uh, it, you know, it, in some ways, it reminded me of the movie Giant, which is one of my favorites, you know. Uh, although this is the even stranger, more dangerous giant. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I just loved the character, you know. And, you know, I don't do a lot of movies where I'm wearing a cowboy hat. And so, uh, and I, I knew some about the oil business before. But uh, some of the technical stuff I didn't know, so I was very interested in all that kind of stuff. And I had Taylor and Christian Wallace there to ask if I needed to know what something meant, because you've got to know what you mean before you say it, or it's not an honest performance. And uh, uh, I learned a lot, you know, about uh, uh, the the inner workings of the oil business, you know, the good and the bad and the people that you have to deal with. And, you know, a landman's in the middle of all of it. I mean, I'm responsible for making money for the boss, responsible for protecting the crews and, and also making sure they do their job. I got a family circling around me, you know, that's kind of coming back a little stronger than before. And uh, so it, it's just a multifaceted character. And, you know, you always want to play characters who have a little bit of everything because in real life we all have them that you know we all have you know joy and sadness and pain and fun and humor and uh i'm really glad that this mixes it all up into this character you know it really does just find the perfect balance whenever he's writing in these characters and I, I love the way it comes across in this show so then in coming from the yellowstone universe to an extent this you know feels it's not just taylor's work but it does feel like it could be a good sort of parallel to, to Yellowstone. Uh, what, what do you think about people who might compare the two shows, you know, ahead of time? Well, I think one thing that's similar will be that it's a, it's about the people and the sort of inside workings of what's going on with them all. You know, it's like, uh, uh, I, I, I can't stress enough that, that this is not just a movie saying, hey, look, this is the oil business. It's, it's about people and what we do in life, you know, uh, whether good or bad, you know, it's, uh, uh, I think Taylor has a handle on, on, uh, human behavior. And, uh, I, I think in that way they're, they're similar. Well, I really can't wait to see what he does with that back half of episodes. Cause like I say, I am hooked already. And, uh, well, I'm glad. I, see, I see. I got to wrap up, so I will get on out of here. But thank you, Billy Bob, so much. Truly an honor to get to chat with you for this show. Well, thank, thank you very much. Stick with beer. You want something stronger? I quit drinking. I'll stick with beer. Welcome to the oil business.